Hey Sagittarius, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. General reading, take what works, leave what doesn't. Um, don't try to force things uh, to make sense if they don't. We're just looking for a little bit of guidance, a little bit of help along our way here in this sort of confusing, topsy-turvy journey of life. So, uh, there will not be extended this week. It's just the way it is. Ace of Pentacles, possibly one of my favorite cards in the deck. Um, Ace of Pentacles, something beginning in real life, actually starting. So this reading might be about thinking about actually starting or how something's actually starting, but something actually starting in reality. And this is one of my favorite uh, depictions of this card because we have this reference to all of the effort that has gone on, all of the unseen effort that has gone on to make something, to bring something, not make it, but sort of bring it into reality. And now we're beginning a totally different journey. We're beginning the journey in reality. So we've maybe already had our inspiration. We've had the emotional journey we've had. Um, and of course they all get intertwined, but this one, this one is awesome. This was, this is the real deal. I don't like it. I love it actually. Um, past, present, inner landscape. What's the issue? Environment, to-do list, possible outcome. Alrighty. I'm just going to make some faces over here at these cards before I talk about them. Oh, no way. You've got so much cool stuff here. You've got a lot of people. You got a lot of people, a king of cups, a page of pentacles and a page of swords. So lots of learners, but we've got an expert, possibly a mentor here. Um, and a lot of major arcana. Yeah. So in the recent past, we have uh, three of cups. This is friendship to me, a circle of friends, not necessarily all your friends, but a circle of friends or something that you all have in common. There's something, so this could be like a group that you, you know, go bird watching with or a group that you uh, go roller skating with, or I don't know where these examples are coming from, but they're cracking me up. Um, a group that you maybe do some work with, but it's not necessarily work focused. So this is a circle of friends. I mean, this might be work friends that you get along with outside of work. So, right, we've got this circle here. We've got a circle of friends and everyone's got other circles and interlocking circles of friends. So um, this could be family also. So people that you hang out with, you have something in common with um, and you share joys and concerns. You share with these people uh, emotional, emotional sharing in reality. It's, it's cool. So in your current situation, you have judgment. This is sort of enlightenment. This is the review. Uh, this can be the report card here. Let's look at this. Um, I have a series of videos over on Vimeo uh, about the major arcana right now um, available for you, uh, for your own practice and for, for you know, your own personal development if you want. So we have this whole thing here. Here's our aces right up here. Um, the ace of pentacles, something really coming into reality because it's pentacles, it's a little less of the spiritual part and more of the really coming into the reality. Judgment comes down here. It's like um, judgment is uh, to card number 20 and it comes, I'm just double checking that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, it comes down here. Um, it's the second to the last card. So it's like the trip is almost over. It's, it's that part. It's not necessarily that that's where you're at, right? Because these don't come in order like this. Uh, so our major arcana is a, maybe there's been some sort of some something that really shook you, um, shook who you thought you were, your understanding of yourself, um, and it's coming into into reality. So, um, so some, as something, this is the judgment card. So it's um, it's like here's the sun card. The paper's been turned in. We know everything we need to know, and now we're getting the review. So you might have submitted something. Um, and you're getting the grades back, or you're getting the decision back, uh, some sort of evaluation is being done. So this could also be you sort of reevaluating maybe some past friendships, um, maybe uh, seeing them in a new light, seeing them in a new way, maybe some information has been revealed and now you can see something in a totally different way. Uh, you can, you now have some sort of perspective perhaps to be able to, I want to say past judgment on that, right? Because judgment, we can talk about being judgmental and then we can talk about having good judgment. And those two things are similar and that we're making 
decisions and um, we're deciding whether something's going to work for us or not work for us or whether something's uh, good for our lives or whether something's good or bad or something like that. So we can be really hypercritical, being judgmental, um, or but there, we also need to have good judgment, right? That's how we live good lives is by having good judgment. So there might be sort of a decision or an evaluation of something. Is something working for you? Is it not working for you? Um, so sort of like you've seen what you need to see here and you've been enlightened in a way. That's our sun card enlightening us uh, as to what's going on here. And now you, it's time to make a, not necessarily a decision, but understanding, there's a sense of understanding. There might be a decision that goes along with that, but you see it. You, you, see, you see clearly now and you ha are integrating this new information into who you are and your actions and your decisions going forward. So it's sort of the evaluation at the end of the book, right? I always think of it as the, the, um, the questions, the book group questions that are at the end of some of those books. Like, what did you think of this? What did you think of that? Because you finished the book now. Now you can go back and think, oh, wow, if, you know, it turned out like this. If I'd known that, you know, I might have seen this event over here in a different light, that kind of thing. So we're at sort of some sort of evaluation is going on. Either we're being evaluated or we're evaluating and it has to do with past friendships. Um, your hopes, your fears, your inner landscape, temperance. Um, things are going to take the time they take. Uh, temperance, uh, time, everything takes time, like healing takes time. You're in, you're hoping that, um, that you have the time perhaps to evaluate something, to really think about something. Maybe you're hoping that like decision time doesn't come in right away or like something, you know, cause you want the time to evaluate and to really make a good fair judgment call about, um, about something, a friendship from your past or a group of friends from your past. So you may be worried about things taking too long, um, or you may be very hoping, hoping very much and very excited about things taking a little bit long time, but you're in an, you're, you're worried about the in-between space. Um, do you have time to take some in-between space? Do you have time to think about something? Do you have time to adjust to something? You're worried about an adjustment period. Um, you may have had to make a decision or really had some realizations about some past friendships and, um, and you're going to need to make some adjustments and you might be really worried about, uh, making those adjustments and those shifts to, um, to, from what was to what you want to be and that transitional period. So you could be worried about a transitional period, uh, having to do with some past friends and some realizations you may have had and, some judgments you've had to make, some realizations. So uh, in your environment is the moon in reverse. So this could be things being kept from you, things being withheld from you. The moon in reverse to me has some sort of intentionality. It could be that subconscious issues or psychological issues have really dominated the situation. This could be the realization that you're coming to. Maybe you have an old friend um, that you're realizing that they actually were possibly struggling with a serious mental illness. Um, there could be something that there's something you, you haven't known, um, or there could be a way in which this subconscious issues or psychological issues, uh, emotional dysregulation, um, has really created some sort of problem here. Someone, someone it could be you, it could be someone else. Uh, not able to regulate their own emotions or their own feelings very well and being really dominated and controlled by by some by the by some deep psychological issues uh, the moon in reverse can also be things that have been intentionally withheld from you uh, which of course would have you rethinking some old friendships <laughs> if uh, things were intentionally withheld from you um, the, the moon in reverse has I wouldn't say a sinister element to it. I don't think it could be intentional. It could be not intentional, but it could be, but it is sort of um, the darkness dominating a situation. So something that you don't know, someone's internal darkness may have been dominating a situation um, or um, your, your not knowing about something may, um, may be the, the, the dominant feature. So something about darkness and not seeing um, and being in the dark 
has um, had a bad effect on something, has poorly affected either your friendships um, or maybe some, some judgment, um, but being in the dark about something um, or something being in the dark, it has had a ill effect on the situation. Uh, and then in your environment, you have King of Cups. I like this. This King of Cups often reminds me of a therapist. Um, so this is someone you know, very emotionally mature. This is someone that can be a mentor. Uh, this is someone that you, I would love to consult with a King of Cups. Someone that they do, they have battled their own demons. They do have their own, right? This sea monster that's, that's uh, dominating and maybe even obscuring um, the light and obscuring someone's, I want to say like inner light, someone's inner light has been obscured by something. And whether that was intentional or not intentional, this card isn't really telling us right now. Um, but uh, someone's inner light has been obscured by, by a darkness. This king of, um, and that might be you, that might be you that maybe didn't see things clearly, or maybe we're having um, a, a moment of, uh, emotional dysregulation here uh, that 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 created some problems and now you're getting a chance to reevaluate it um, but this person here I love this king of cups because they have their own inner demons and they've dealt with them already and they've somehow learned how to maintain some equilibrium here and some um, some emotional equilibrium despite having dealt with their own demons so there's always this like Oh, there, you know, some, I've heard some people say before that like, therapists are, are the craziest ones or whatever. Um, and I don't think that that's true and it shouldn't be true. If you think your therapist is the craziest one, maybe you need a new therapist. But the thing is like, I do kind of want someone who's guiding me, um, or, and who I'm relying on to have already been on the journey, right? Like if I'm going down, uh, rapids, I would like my guide, um, my rafting guide, to have already been down that river, so they can t they can see some of the, you know, it's not we can't it's not the same river, right? Because the river changes all the time, the banks change all the time. It's different water, and we're different, right? You can't cross the same river twice, so it's not the same river. But they've been through this patch before. They know where the rocks are. They know where the the holes are. They know where the, they know where the dangers are, um, and they can spot that. So I. I personally want someone who has wrestled with some inner demons to guide me through wrestling with my inner demons, right? So um, if this has to do with a friendship that you're going through, there's just someone here that's already been down this path. They know what they're talking about. Uh, they're, they've, they've dealt with inner demons and they're able to, um, to, to find some equilibrium there. This is, this is the type of person you want to consult with some of these emotional issues. Um, Right. We have a lot of emotion here. We have this three of cups, we have the moon here, and we have the king of cups. So this is someone that you can rely on. This might be a therapist or someone like that. Um, I don't think they've conquered anything. I think they just know the, know the way. They know this part of the river. They know this stretch of the rapids. Um, so uh, in your to-do list, you have page of pentacles. This is actually, be, this could actually be a reading about like actually start therapy um, or actually start dealing with some sort of uh, psychological issue or a subconscious issue. This is Page of Pentacles. This is hands-on learning. If, if it weren't for this King of Cups and this friendship here and this reverse moon card, I'd say this is um, getting a new job and learning the new job, learning a new skill, like practical learning of the new skill. We're not thinking about the skill. We're not reading about the skill. We've done all of that. That's all that's gone into here, right? We have two new beginnings in reality. So the thinking about the new skill, reading about the new skill, filling out the paperwork for the new skill, um, all of that is back here. Right here we're talking about um, applying, applying that. It's now time to apply what you've learned, right? If you've been reading up on um, uh, learned optimism, if you've been reading up on uh, what's the nonviolent communication now's the time to apply it now's the time for practical applications here in the real world we're seeing two cards here of practical applications in the real world um, so actually doing the work uh, so if you've been um, so so this could also be like 
Um, someone's decided that like judgment and evaluation and judgment has been made. It could be someone um, has deciding to hire you, right? They're making the, the decision and they're, they're using their judgment here. Um, and, and they give that to you. But this is you learning the actual application, what it actually looks like in real life. Like you've already read up on all of this stuff and now you're going to go apply it to your relationships. Um, and that might be scary because it might change. You might be changing how or trying a new skill and how are people going to receive it? As you learn the new skill, you still have to be applying it. You're applying a new skill that you're learning. So is, are you going to be, are you stumbling through learning this new skill? Will it be received with grace? Um, will people understand I'm just learning, right? It's the, the new cashier up there and they're like, sorry, I'm just learning, right? And they're hopeful that everyone coming through their line is, you know, going to be accepting of that and, and going to, to be okay with that. You know, maybe you need like a nonviolent communication in training or I'm not like the world's biggest fan of that, but um, that style, but it is useful, it has a lot of skills that are useful in specific situations. So, you know, in training, it's like you want a little I am a page. I'm just in training here. I'm just learning how to apply this. And that's what I think this in your inner landscape is referencing is like, you'd like a little in training sticker there. Um, and so that people will be gracious with you while you learn new skills, uh, possible outcome. We have a person, this could be you, or this could be someone else. This one is reading the book is reading the manual. Maybe you, your journey inspires someone else to start reading the book, start reading the manual. They're seeing you make progress and they're like, Hmm, maybe I'd like to. And then you recommend the book for them to read, right? This is someone, uh, just learning. And normally I see these as two different things, right? Or two separate things. Like this page, this page, this student, this is the ultimate student. This is like, this could be going to school, literally, quite literally going to school, a very literal student. But all of that student work has gone in here. We can almost make it grow up in here. And then, so then I would say like, oh, we've got all this reading done. And now, now we're here um, watering the actual plant. The plant has emerged and is starting to bloom and we're watering it. But the page coming, this sword's coming after the pentacles looks to me like maybe you doing this work, someone else says, oh, if they can do the internship, maybe I'll go back to school too. Or maybe you get a mentee and as you're learning, someone else comes along and is like a student of you. Um, or maybe you start actually applying something and realize you need to go back and learn more. So somebody's starting to read, starting to crack a book open. That can happen too. Like, just get to work, just get going. And you know what? You'll be able to reference the book later. It almost reminds me of an open book test where, you know, you think like, what's the use of that? But the point is, is that as you do like a job or whatever, you don't always need to have every aspect of it memorized. Sometimes you can just get going and then just remember where to go, where to, where to go back to that. Where, where was that information? You know, the information becoming a, being a student can sometimes be, you know, where, the, you know, the information's available. And you know where it's at. You don't have to memorize what it is. You just have to have a pretty good idea of where you can find the answer to that question, a reliable source. So that could be it too. Like you're actually putting some work in and then you're going to um, go back and, okay, what was that? Um, you're going to look it up. You're going to be looking something up. But both of these are either young or younger people, but this is you. Um, this is the, both of them are students. This one's learning a practical skill and this one's hitting the books and doing a, a lot of reading. All right, let's pull one of these cards for you. This is kind of, well, I always think of these as more adding into our to-do list. Here we have brown bear spirit, take time out. I think what this means is um, with this temperance card here is take the time, right? We saw, I was saying like, it, things take the time they take, you can take the time you need to take. Take your time, uh, go back to, to the books if you need to. Um, reread something, but take your time working through this. Take your time finding your mentor. Taking time, uh, taking, take your time. A lot of groundwork has already been laid here, uh, but so brown bear spirit, take time out. 
And it could be taking some time away from these friendships to sort of do some reevaluation and learn some new skills. It could be um, taking some time. Um, I'm thinking of like, like taking some time in a hospital possibly, or something like that, some kind of break uh, from, from something. So, um, so taking time out. There you go, hibernate for a little bit. Uh, and humans grow most when they're, um, actually kids grow only when they're sleeping. So that's the only time they have extra energy for the growth process is when they're resting and sleeping, so. All right, that's what you got. Thank you for joining me, Sagittarius, um, and we will chat again soon.